do visionary leaders play bigger? What we have been able to learn and witness as we've been seeing the work of those who are actually building an extraordinary future is that they have a set of practices that they use. It's not a playbook, but it's a way of orienting their resources and their work. So the first is that they are in a constant state of wonder versus resistance. They don't look at new information and shut it down. They look at new information and say, what if? There's a huge way of being able to navigate moving forward, which is important because navigate versus replicate is also how they orient. They don't think again about best practices of the past and how they can continue to get more efficient, but they really are thinking about in new ways of sensing and responding to this information as it comes through and then being able again to act on it. Uh, they recognize that it is about contributing versus just extracting. It's not about being able to hold on to all the resources, whether those are physical or time or attention or money, but are thinking about, again, how they can create value with every single step that they do across all stakeholders. It's about recognizing that we're connected versus alone, both also in the work that we do, right? We're trying to create more systemic solutions around things. We're no longer being able to isolate them, but it's also around being, being able to build ecosystems of support and learning and growth. Right? When we're able to do that, we're able to build much bigger, more meaningful solutions, which are important because we can no longer think incrementally. Right? This idea about being audacious versus incremental protects us, ironically enough, against someone else being able to come in and disrupt our business so you know, violently or so dramatically. The fact is that actually when we can think about how to build with each of these steps something that is more meaningful, we are actually building something that is more sustainable moving forward, which is how then we're able to thrive versus die. How do we prepare for a future that, again, has so many variances and so many possibilities, right? We can't build a solid plan, but we can certainly build the skills to be able to be more prepared. We can put caring at the center as opposed to just winning. We can put humans at the center versus just transactions. And we can build a future that is, again, the better next that is available to all of us. That's what these leaders are pointing to and what is available to all of us, that we can learn to think this way as well.